Today, I got one of my grails for retail and much, much more. I went sneaker shopping on the north side of Chicago and found so many great deals at retail stores, resale stores, and thrifting. So make sure you watch the whole entire video through and don't miss a thing. First stop had to be Buffalo Exchange. I always find great shoes here. The first kicks that I found were the MB2s and the Jade colorway. These are really nice and they were in great condition, but they wanted 70 bucks for them and not really worth it at that price. Next up, I found this clean pair of Jordan 12 Utilities. They weren't my size, but if they were, they're really nice for 120 bucks. And then I found these. Honestly, I don't know what I'm looking at, this pair of Converse's, but I believe it's a collaboration with Bodega, just not for me. This Ultra Boost was pretty comfy looking, but it was beat. They also had these almost Jordan 13s. Seriously, what are these? They're kind of cool looking, honestly. Then I found these Air Force Ones with a lot of custom details around it. They were actually pretty cool looking. I dig the colorway. They also had a couple Jordans in the women's section, but honestly, nothing too notable like these mids. Next up was round two. The whole reason I wanted to go shopping in the first place was to come here. I got those Jordans that you guys will see very, very soon first, and then decided to check out what they had. First pair of kicks that I looked at were these Red Cement 4s and these Midnight Navies. They were both 220 and both used. Honestly, Midnight Navy over Red Cement any day. What do you guys think about that? They had some Cherry 11s for just over retail, and they were really clean. They almost looked new. Then they had some Jordan 4 Red Thunders. I don't know what it is about this colorway. I just think it looks super cheap, and it's just personally not for me. They also had the Lightning 4s, which I think are a little bit better, but I'm just not a fan of that yellow color. Are these hot takes? What do you guys think? And they had a bunch of nice Jordans and just slightly bigger sizes. They also had some Jordan 1 Georgetowns, size 11, for 200 bucks. It's the 85 cut, and it's similar to what I picked up today. Hint, hint. They had some Midnight Navy Dunk Highs for only 60 bucks size 13 but honestly not a bad cop for someone that size they do have a Yeezy section here but I won't lie to you guys I've been pretty uninterested with Yeezys for a minute now that might just be me but they've been releasing so many colorways to this point where I don't care at round two I picked these bad boys up I know the anticipation was killing you if you guys don't know this is the Jordan 1 black and white 85 cut it's my first time ever getting an 85 cut, and this has been something I've wanted on the bucket list for so long. I paid $200 for these. They are used, but they're in phenomenal condition. So I definitely recommend people check out the used market. Make sure you're looking at your stores that sell used shoes, and you can come up with some really good deals just like these. Expect a full video coming out on the channel for these very, very soon. I got a lot to say about them. I hit up this new thrift store that I've never been to and right off the bat they had these Jordan 3 Fire Red Unites. Not a bad colorway at all. They had these dunks but these were super heavily used and not worth the price at $35. This is why I want you guys to hit up your local thrift stores because sometimes you can find amazing deals on Jordans that have been flying under the radar and most of the times they have shoes that are in pretty good condition and just with a little cleanup you can have a great shoe. Next up, I went to this new retail store called St. Alfred. I've never noticed this before, but they had the brand new Drake Nocta Glides. And boy, are these ugly. Not a fan of those at all, but they did have these New Balance Highs and that UNC colorway. And you know, I just love that UNC color too much. They had these off-white Jordan 1 mids and this black colorway. Honestly, not a bad shoe. Just, I don't know how I could wear those with the spikes. It doesn't really fit my style. They also had these orange dunks, and overall, it's a really clean store. I love the layout of it. Next up, we had to check out Adidas and see what they had. I was a little surprised to see the Bad Bunny model still sitting after all this time, but I guess it's not too shocking since they go under retail on the aftermarket. And they had Sambas on Sambas on Sambas. If you haven't watched my video on the Sambas yet, make sure you do so because they've been taking the sneaker world by storm. Thank you guys for watching this video. I've been thinking of making this into a series, and if that's something you're interested in, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Soul Therapy if you haven't already done so. See you guys in the next one.